The Future Schools Toolkit, a bridge between community and policy. Supporting schools and communities to explore school sustainability and provision in an area planning context. The Future Schools Toolkit provides the tools to answer five key questions. How sustainable is our school in the short or medium term? What options do we have to better demonstrate or possibly improve our sustainability? What could sustainable school provision look like in our area in the longer term? What model of school provision would best meet the needs of our children? And how can our community work with the Education Authority, the Council for Catholic Maintained Schools and other sectoral support bodies to bring about change in relation to educational provision? There are three parts to the Future Schools Toolkit. Part 1. School Sustainability Self-Evaluation Guidance. Part 2. Information about how to carry out a community conversation. Part 3. Pathways and processes within area planning and how to find out more information about what to do next. The self-evaluation tool helps schools to evidence and benchmark themselves using the six criteria and associated indicators in the Department of Education's Sustainable Schools Policy. In order to provide a high quality educational experience for all pupils, the Department of Education has set out six criteria for sustainable schools. These are quality educational experience, stable enrolment trends, sound financial position, sound leadership and management by the principal and board of governors, accessibility and strong links with the community. For each criteria there are a range of indicators. The toolkit guides you through each of these and helps schools consider how they can evidence each and what they might need to be achieving in relation to each indicator to demonstrate their sustainability. Here you can see, by way of example, the first criterion, indicators associated with it, and potential sources that can be used to evidence each indicator. Through a process of self-evaluation, governors should be able to better understand the future sustainability of their school and the possible implications of this. Following self-evaluation, a wider conversation can then be held to consider what longer term sustainable school provision could look like for the area. By engaging in a community conversation, school governors, parents and others can come together to discuss what school provision would best meet the needs of the local area and provide the highest quality sustainable education going forward. The four phases involved in a community conversation are preparing the ground and developing trust, logistics, making arrangements for the community conversation events, preparing any documentation and any resources needed. The community conversation events themselves. There may be a single World Cafe style event, a series of smaller conversations, or a combination of both, and follow-up activities after the community conversation. There is a logical flow to a conversation, introducing the main focus, reflection and discussion, interpretation and refining the options, deciding and closing the conversation, and in doing so, agreeing the main points. One possible community conversation prompt could be considering education provision on an area basis rather than from a school perspective. Is there a model of school provision for this area that would be more sustainable and provide a better quality of education for children and young people? The final part of the toolkit sets out the possible alternative options from the Department of Education's area planning policy some of which include a degree of cross-community and cross-sectoral coming together and where to find guidance on each.